Well, you've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat, and we all know that eating better makes us feel better. But did you know that the health of your gut can have a real effect on your brain? We sat down with a neurologist, neuroscientist, and expert in the practice of Ayurvedic medicine for her thoughts and advice on the topic. Your gut has so much more to do with the way that you think and feel than you can ever imagine. The idea that having a healthy gut can help you have a healthy brain might seem like a strange statement coming from a neurologist. This whole paradigm that, you know, you're you're sick because you're just missing the right pill, the right, you know, pharmaceutical solution, that whole concept is falling apart. And I think there is a way to combine all of our, you know, fun, sexy technology with like what our grandmothers were saying. And for Dr. Kalrit Chaudhry, what her grandmother was saying involved Ayurvedic medicine, an ancient Indian practice around for thousands of years involving things like herbs, diet and meditation, something she turned to when she was unable to heal herself with traditional Western medicine. And I always say, you know, uh, the universe has a sense of humor. And so I was a neurologist with horrific migraine headaches and I couldn't treat my own headaches. And I had been trying for a year. It worked for her. So Dr. Chaudhry started treating her own patients with Ayurvedic medicine. The idea behind it is to improve your gut microbiome or gut flora, those microorganisms that live in our digestive tracts. And by doing so, we help our brains. And there is growing research out there on the connection between the two. Dr. Chaudhry says, start small by adding a few herbs to your daily routine. Ashwagandha to help fight stress and reduce inflammation. Brahmi to support overall brain function. And triphala. That helps to reestablish a healthy gut flora, repair the mucosa, and help to support a healthy brain in the gut. And that's your enteric nervous system. She also suggests a tea made out of items you probably already have in your pantry, cumin, coriander, and fennel. And here's a hard one, changing your inner dialogue. What researchers have shown is the majority of our inner dialogue is negative. And that breaks my heart, that most of us are telling us bad things about ourselves. Those first moments when you wake up before you even get out of bed, just think of five things that you're grateful for. Just five things that are going really well in your life. And the reason why that's important is it starts a new neuro circuitry. So it's like a new dialogue erupts in your brain. Repeat it again at night before bed. And if you can, try meditation. Don't overthink this one or be intimidated by it. And in the beginning, if all you have is five minutes, that's five minutes more than you had yesterday. And that's fantastic. We have a list of the herbs that Dr. Chaudhry mentions, as well as a recipe for that tea on our website. And remember, before you take anything, even herbs, you should talk with your doctor.